Hop in my getaway car, let's go just for the night Nowhere is ever too far, baby, all we got is time Welcome back to my channel. In honor of back to school season, I thought I would show you guys everything that I got my own kids for the school year. Now, some of you may be waiting to start school. Some of you may have started school already. I know a lot of kids in our area already started going back to school this week. Um, as for us, we don't start school until September. And for those of you that don't know, I homeschool my children and I have been doing so since the preschool age. And for those of you that are new here, we are a family of five. So it's myself, my husband, our nine-year-old son, our four-year-old son, and our almost two-year-old daughter. She's literally going to be two in September, which is crazy. Where does the time go? I have no idea. But I had a lot of things to pick up for the upcoming school year. So I have a lot of stuff that is just like your basic stuff that you need to restock on, like pencils and erasers and things like that. And then I also picked up a, a lot of books. I even got some prizes and a treasure chest just to give some incentive to the kids to want to keep pushing and being motivated to getting their schoolwork done. And I've also picked up some fun games as well to serve as brain breaks in between all of our lessons. And yeah, I thought I would go ahead and show you guys everything that I picked up for my kids for the homeschool season. Um, I do have another homeschool video on here from last year that I posted. So I'm gonna link that down below in case you are interested. All of those items are still items that you can still find today for your back to school needs. That one was a really huge homeschool haul. I went a little crazy with that haul. We bought a lot of fun new stuff to implement in our homeschool. And so, like I said, I will link that video down below if you wanna check that one out as well. Um, but everything that you're gonna see here today, I picked up from Walmart. I got one item from Target and then all of the books that I picked up um, came from various different used book resources. So yeah, I guess I will go ahead and show you guys everything that I got. Let's take a sip of this coffee because we just need a moment of silence because my two-year-old is sleeping, my boys are playing video games, so right now is the perfect time for me to sit down and get this video done. Okay, so I guess I'm going to start off with the one item that I got from Target, and that is this like little circle cushion mat. It does have like a little hanging thing, so if you did want to hang them on the wall, I use these for circle time. We do circle times in the mornings when school season is back in. I have a calendar over here on my wall, and so I will spread out the little circle time mats. We will go over our calendar, do our days of the week, days of the month, and things like that. Um, and this was 10 bucks at Target. I picked these up last year for my boys. My daughter was not old enough to join us in circle time yet, or at least not really interested in it. Um, and this year she's definitely interested in it. So I had to pick her up one. I got her a pink one. Um, my boys also have one. They have a turquoise and a yellow one. And so I really, really love these for circle time. So this is the only item that I picked up from Target this year because Walmart did not have anything like this in their store. Not that I could find anyway. So I picked this up for our circle time. Also picked up 10 of these storage bins. They come with the green like sage colored um, tops which I like and I got 10 of these. I think it was like five bucks for like 10 of them which was a really good steal. Um, Walmart has amazing deals when it comes to back to school supplies in my opinion um, and so I like these so I can put various different things in them. Like you can kind of see right here in this bin I have like the little counting dinosaurs and the little like um, bowls that they go in. I have one for all of our Mr. Potato Heads and Mrs. Potato Heads. Um, and then I also have another one for all of our Bluey toys and all of our Peppa Pig toys. So these are really cool because I these can be used as like our quiet time bins. I can put various different things in them and pull them down in the morning for their morning tubs just to have some quiet space so mommy can have a cup of coffee and read her book while they enjoy their little morning tub. And I also like these for all of like our educational supplies. So just like our counting dinosaurs and our little bowls, if we're gonna be doing something related to maybe colors or counting, we can pull that tub down. Um, and then that way the kids can see what is in them as well and they're stackable. Um, um, and so yeah I got 10 of these now everything that I'm showing you is everything that I got from Walmart 
let me go ahead and show you guys all of the boring stuff just our typical basic stuff that we needed to restock for the school year so i've got some filler paper just some regular filler paper here um these are the wide ruled and they each have 150 sheets inside so i've got two packs of those i don't know these are like 50 cents or something like that so that was a steal i got all of this stuff right before their back to school sale officially started and if you shop right before back to school officially starts they have a really good sales going on right before then so that is when i picked up all of this stuff so we've got some paper um i've also picked up just a couple of like composition books um we use a lot of notebooks especially as my oldest is advancing into the fourth grade he is going to be writing a lot more so i picked up some of these composition notebooks i believe these were also 50 cents so i have a red one a green one and a purple one pick these up specifically for our sticker reward system so i picked up a big thing of stickers and i thought you know if the kids are doing really well they can pick out a sticker and they can put it in their book and they'll have a notebook filled with all of the stickers that they like which i think that they will love so i picked that up and then like i said i picked up a bunch of regular notebooks so i've got some purple notebooks I think these are also 50 cents. Got two purple ones. We've got two green ones, two red, two yellow, and then two blue ones as well. And so we will use all of these notebooks for all of um, Benjamin's subjects. So he will have one for language arts, he'll have one for math, science, social studies, and so on and so forth. Um, and then we also have extra in case I need any or dad needs any. Um, and they're really cheap and it doesn't hurt to stock up on them. And if anything, you can use them for the next year. Um, and then I also picked up a bunch of folders. I believe these were like 15 cents, which was a steal. Um, and so they do have holes, so you can put them in a binder as well. And then they also have little insert pockets on the sides. But I have an orange one here. I've got green purple these ones are a little bit different some of them are different um, because they didn't have um, the color that I was looking for in these ones so this one is just like a plain one it doesn't have any holes um, but it does have pockets inside um, so I've got a purple one there I've got a blue one a black one a red one and a yellow one and I like to use the same colors or get the same colors as the notebooks because I like to pair them together so you know if math is going to be blue we'll have a blue folder for math and a blue notebook for math and they just go hand in hand so any kind of handouts that I have to print out or anything like that we can insert into our folder um, and things like that two pencils that I picked up this year um, like I said my four-year-old I have been doing like a homeschool preschool with him but this year I really want to implement him sitting at the table with us when I am homeschooling my nine-year-old so then that way he can get prepared because he is going to be starting kindergarten the next year so I want him to be prepared and also prepare myself for teaching two kids at once and so I do want to have him sitting at the table with us getting some you know preschool work done so I got these like thicker pencils and these are the my first I don't know how to pronounce this Ticonderoga um pencils it also includes the sharpener and so they are bigger so then that way toddlers are able to grip the pencil better so I picked these up for him they are pre-sharpened which is nice so I got those for him and then I got a 24 count of just regular pencils for Benjamin to use and then I also picked up some mechanical pencils. This is a 24 pack and they're like rainbow colored. So I also picked these up because Benjamin also loves to use the mechanical pencils as well. And then I also picked up some restock of the lead with for that as well. So we don't run out over the school year. I've got two packs of glue sticks. I've got four here. I think these were like 10 cents or something like that. Um, and so I've got four of those here for the kids. Actually, no, I've got six of them. I've got six packs of glue sticks. I figured two for each kid for the school year should be enough glue. And then I've got a pack of pencil cap erasers. Can never have enough erasers. So I've got those. 
Um, these are new for us this year. I've never bought these before, but I thought that they would be a lot more comfortable for my nine-year-old, especially since he's starting to write a lot more. And then he starts to complain that his hand is hurting. So I've got some pencil grips to go on his pencil. So I thought maybe this might be a little bit more comfortable when he's writing. I also got just some regular big erasers as well. I think these were like 25 cents. Um, so I picked those up for him. I've also got some paper mate ballpoint pens in the different colors. I love ballpoint pens so much. And so I will use these for grading or writing. Um, and then if Benjamin does need to use pens, he also has some pens at his service. So we'll both be getting a use out of those. And then I also picked up two 24 packs of crayons um, for my little ones. We have a lot of crowns, honestly, but every year I do like to pick up um, a new pack of crowns because there's nothing like a fresh new pack of crowns to color with. So I've got two packs of those. We are still good on all of our markers. We have a lot of markers that are still good and still usable. So I didn't pick up any markers this year. Um, but I did pick up some pencil sharpeners. I love these. I got these last year and we still have some. I think one of them broke, um, but you can never have enough pencil sharpeners throughout the house, especially since I have different homeschool stations throughout the house. So I picked these up. Um, I think this was like five bucks or something like that, but they are super, super cute. So I got some pencil sharpeners. Um, this already is opened. Um, me and dad actually used this last night, but I got some Sharpie markers because we have none in this household. Like we literally don't. And every time I need a Sharpie, we don't have any. So I decided to pick some up this year. This was on sale, I think for like $7 and it was like originally like $17 or something like that. So that was a steal. So this is a 12 count of Sharpie markers. These are great for grading and arts and craft projects. Um, so I picked up some of those. Also got a 12 pack of the Expo dry erase markers and the big ones. Um, we do have a whiteboard here in our house that I use for our homeschool. And then I also have little personal whiteboards for the kids. Sometimes I will switch it up instead of them writing in handouts and workbooks, we will do whiteboard activities. So I've got that for that. And then I also picked up a 16 count of the thin fine point um expo markers this was on a really good deal i don't remember how much it was i just remember it was a really good deal and so i picked it up so i've got those as well so we've got different color options and different um styles of writing with the markers and then i also got a 12 count of these sharpie highlighters and i think last year i picked up i'm not sure if i picked up this exact same one or if i picked up like a six count. I think I might've picked up like a six count and we really, really love them. Um, and so I picked up some more this year. This is very universal to everyone in the household. So I've got some highlighters. And then we've also got some tape because you can never have enough tape in this house. My boys love to just tape stuff together and especially for arts and crafts projects. So this is three rolls of tape. Oh, yes, I forgot that I bought these. I also picked up some washable watercolor paints as well for the kids. My kids love to paint and not every time do I like to bring out the acrylic paint where they just make a huge mess. Mainly my four year old likes to just mix all the colors together and you just have globs of paint everywhere. So I thought that they would love that. So I got one for each of them. And then I've also got some coloring books here for the kids. I thought that they could use their watercolor paints to color inside here or just to simply color. But I've got this ABC Alpha Pets coloring book. So, you know, it just goes through the letters and I thought that this would be really fun and educational for my little ones to you know learn their letters and their numbers as well as their animals also picked up this cosmic creatures coloring book i thought it would just be fun they've got lots of different like aliens and robots and stuff like that so i know my boys will love that um and we also have loads of coloring books still in our arsenal and so i thought this would be like a fun brain break for the kids in between lessons or just for simple fun arts and crafts so we've got some of those. And I also picked up some puzzles for my kids. Um, and so for my two-year-old, well, almost about to be two-year-old, I got this Melissa and Doug Chunky Puzzle Safari Animals. It comes with eight pieces. So cute. So cute. She's starting to get into that stage of loving to do puzzles and trying to figure them out. So that this would be really fun because then we can teach animals and animal sounds and it'll be just really, really fun for her. And then also my four-year-old, I believe, will also love this as well. So they'll both get a use out of that. And then I also picked up this ABC puzzle for my four-year-old so that way we can, you know, 
have fun doing a puzzle, but also learning our ABCs and our sounds as well. So I thought this would be really, really fun for him. And even my two-year-old can get in on that action as well. Coffee break, because this is gonna go cold and you know mama needs her coffee. This right here is how we get through our homeschool day. Yes. <laughs> All right, so that was pretty much all like the basic stuff that I pick up every single year, just like restocking. Um, and then now I'm gonna show you guys all of the things that I picked up for our prizes and our little treasure chest that I want to implement this year. This is something new that I'm implementing. This is something that I've never done before, but I've seen it and I was like, you know what? That is a really great incentive to keep these kids motivated and wanting to learn and getting their schoolwork done, maybe even getting their chores done. So I picked up this treasure chest. It's a pretty decent sized treasure chest and so I thought that I would put different types of prizes inside just to keep them motivated. And so to go inside of here, I picked up this sticker book. It has 2,480 stickers. Um, so it says the best sticker book ever, Making Waves edition. Um, there's also foil stickers in here as well. And so every page, every page has different stickers. And I thought that would just be so much fun. And like I said, I got those little composition notebooks so then they can start creating their own little sticker reward system in their notebooks and they can fill up their notebook with all of their stickers. So I thought that would be fun. So especially for my oldest, you know, if he is a 10 out of 10 on his spelling test or he does really good on an essay, we can put a sticker in his notebook or he's just doing really good in school. All of them are doing really good and paying attention. Um, they went above and beyond. We can just throw a sticker in their notebook. And I just think that it would be really fun for them to pick out their own sticker and put it in their notebook and start having this sticker collection. So I got that to go inside of our treasure box. So we'll go ahead and we'll just place that in there. And then I seen these and thought that they were so much fun. These are the eraser pals and it comes with 25 pieces. They had different types, but I got the food kind. How cute are these? These are seriously so cute. My kids are going to love these. So this is going to be more for my four-year-old and my nine-year-old, but I thought that these would serve as a great incentive to, you know, doing well in school and getting your homework done. Um, and so I thought that these would be fun. They're erasers. They kind of get to fidget around with them as we're learning. And I just thought that they would love that. So I picked those up for them. And then I do plan on picking out more prizes to go in this treasure box and to constantly be refilling it throughout the year. Um, but I did go ahead and pick out um, a couple prizes for the kids. Um, and so one of them is this Imaginex Super Friends mystery bag. And I got this specifically for my four-year-old. Of course, my kids can pick out whatever they want in the treasure box, but I did try to pick out things that I know each of my kids would like. So I got this. My four-year-old is really into superheroes right now. So I thought that this would be a really fun prize for him. So I got that for him. And then for my oldest, I got this Lego Marvel Venom Street Bike. So it is a small little Lego set and that is what the Lego set is gonna look like. He loves Venom so much. That is his favorite villain, I guess you could say. Um, and so I thought that he would love this. So that's gonna go in the prize box. And then I also picked up this Wish Mini Collectible Plushie for Baby Girl. I don't know though, my four year old loves Wish so much and I actually wanted to pick up two of these but they only had one in stock. Um, so I'll definitely have to pick up another one because he also loves Wish very, very much. But so does my two year old. Um, and so I picked that up for one of them. And so yeah, I thought that would be really fun to implement this year to just have some prizes to give out throughout the year. And like I said, I will be replenishing it throughout the year as well. So I thought that would be really, really fun for the kids. Okay, and then the last few things that I picked up from Walmart, um, I got this Bible study workbook for kids. It has lessons, activities, quizzes, and questions to deepen your faith. When I seen this, I fell in love with it and I had to have it. I think it was like $15. And so the way this works is, it goes through the entire Bible in 52 weeks. So you can do um, a lesson per week and you will get through the entire Bible with your kids. We have a lot of kids Bibles here in our house and I do like to do Bible time with them in the mornings or at night before bed. Um, and so each week they give you a lesson. So like week one is the very beginning. It gives you your scripture reference, what pages you need to read in the book. It goes over the story 
and so what that chapter is about and then also God's message um, so it kind of goes into detail about what God is asking of us and also has little lessons and quizzes and so over here we have a unscramble it so he'll have to unscramble the words that are related to the chapter that we read about. And then we have a creation challenge. So this one wants you to grab clay or Play-Doh and see how creative you are. You have a timer for one minute to make anything you want with your clay before the timer goes off. You can make a pet, a person, a star, but you have one minute to make a creation. Um, and then your lesson, when God created earth and everything in it, he made it out of nothing. And so that is the lesson that the kids are learning by creating something out of clay. And then you have discussed the questions that you can go over with your child, um, just to make sure that your child is paying attention, that they understand what they read. And yeah, that's it. Very simple, very easy, and also really, really fun. I love that they throw in like little like arts and crafts stuff in there as well. Um, and so I thought that this would be really fun to go alongside our Bible study um, sessions. So I picked that up. And now on to all of the fun games that I picked up for this year. So this is also something new that I'm going to implement. We do buy a lot of board games. The boys love playing board games. And I thought this year, you know what? We usually have brain breaks and I'll put on yoga for them to do or little brain break activities they can do here on YouTube. If you haven't heard of that, I highly suggest typing in brain breaks for kids on YouTube and it'll pop up and it's it's really fun for the kids. It's very interactive. They also get in their exercise and a lot of the times there's a lot of fun characters out there that they love and they know so well that go along with the brain breaks. So it's really, really fun. I highly suggest looking into that. But I thought, you know what? Let's pick up some board games, some card games, some educational games to serve as brain breaks in between our lessons just to kind of give them a break from doing their workbooks and their lessons and things like that and we can play a quick little game so one of the first games that I picked up is the action Bible guess it game and this is a game where you guess the biblical person place or thing so I thought that would be fun to go alongside our Bible studies and our Bible sessions um, you know and as we read more about the Bible they're going to learn a lot more about the people and the places and things in it so I thought this would be a really fun card game for us to play. I also picked up the Uno Pixar card game. So it is Pixar character themed. We've actually already played this like four times and it's so much fun. Everyone loves it. The boys love it. Um, so I thought this would serve as a really fun brain break. Um, and I know the boys are going to love it because we've already played it a lot of times already. And then I also got this learning resources unpack your day conversation kit. This is just so cute. I think this was like $10 and I love learning resources brand. You're new to homeschooling your kids or even you have kids that go to public school but you also wanna implement your own learning sessions at home. I highly recommend looking up learning resources on Walmart or learningresources.com or even on Amazon. They have a million bajillion things. I have a lot of stuff by learning resources and they haven't let me down yet. I absolutely love it. So. This one basically gets kids talking about their day. It develops social, emotional, and conversation skills. And so it comes with a backpack. It comes with a pencil. I believe whoever is holding the squishy pencil is who gets to talk. Um, so it also implements not interrupting because if you have the pencil, you're the only one who is allowed to talk in that moment. Um, and so they have all kinds of different cards here, as you can see, and each card has something different. So like this one says, what was the kindest thing you saw at school today? If you could be an animal today, what animal would you be? What do you like about your friends? What did you eat today? What would you like for lunch this week? Who made you smile today? So like I said, these are just conversation starters. So I feel like this would be great as a brain break in between lessons or even for lunch when the kids are eating lunch instead of watching a movie or watching cartoons, we can pull this out and have some conversations while we're having lunch. So I thought that that would be really fun to implement in our homeschool. The next game that I picked up is the Skillmatics Guess in 10 Junior Community Helpers game. I love Skillmatics. This brand is also up there with the learning resources. They have a lot of educational stuff out there for kids. Um, and so this one is a guessing game with over 30 community helpers. So I believe you have your cards. So we have a policeman here, and then I believe they get like different types of clues to figure out who our community helper is. And I think that that is so much fun. Like this one says, 
what does a policeman wear? And you would have to find his outfit there. Um, do they travel in a special vehicle? Then you'd have to pick out the vehicle that the policeman travels in. Um, and so, yeah, what do they use? You have different utensils here. Do they work outdoors or indoors? I just think this is gonna be so much fun, especially for my four-year-olds. And we can do like a whole theme on community helpers. So I picked that up. And then the last little game that I picked up here by Learning Resources is the STEM Explorers Pixel Art Challenge. And my boys have already dived into this and they absolutely love it. So it comes with a bunch of like cube little foam blocks and it comes with this grid and it comes with like this little booklet that will, on each page is like a different artwork. So like here we have flowers, we have a cactus, a watermelon, a ladybug, and it will tell you, okay, A1, you put a black cube. D2, you put a red cube, and it's really fun and really hands-eye coordination. It gets their brain thinking, and so I thought this would be a super fun little brain break activity. And like I said, my boys have already dipped into it and started playing, and they absolutely love it. So that is everything that I picked up from Walmart. Now I'm going to show you guys all of the books that I picked up. Now all of the books that I have here have just came from various different um book sources. Um, and so the first book here comes from the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. Um, this is a free service online that Dolly Parton herself started up. California has recently got on the list for the free books. So if you do have a child under five in your household, it doesn't go by your income or anything like that. It is free to any child under five. All you have to do is sign up. It takes less than five minutes. Um, but California didn't used to be on the list. It was only select states. And California is now on the list. And so we do get two books every month. You get one book each month for each child in your house that is under five. And so this one actually just came in and I thought it was gonna be perfect for the upcoming school year. And this is how to get your octopus to school. Words by Becky Scharnhorst and pictures by Jacqueline Sinquit. How fun. I thought the kids would love this. I thought this would be a perfect book to read on our first day of school. And I just want to show you what the um, pictures look like inside. So I got this from, like I said, the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. I will leave a link down below to that website if you would like to sign your child up. Like I said, it is free. And if you have a child under five, why not get a free book each month? Not only is it educational for them and for you, you can read to them, they can read to themselves. It's also kind of like a birthday present to them. They get something in the mail each month that they get to open up and it's just really fun for the kids. So we've got that one. And then the rest of these. So these two, I believe I picked out from, let me see here, because I don't even remember where all this came from. Okay, so these ones came from Thrift Books. Um, and I picked these out myself. This is The Bernstein Bears and The Trouble with Chores by Stan and Jan Berenstain. And then we also have Arthur's Teacher Moves In by Mark Brown. Two of my favorite classic books that I grew up on. Um, and so Thrift Books, I will leave my link down below because if you sign up for the very first time using my link, you're gonna get a $5 credit. If you spend $25 or more, you'll get a $5 credit and that $5 credit you can use towards a book. You're gonna get a free book. And most of the books on Thrift Books, especially for kids books, are under that $5 mark. So that is a free book, you guys. So definitely get your hands on your free book. Like I said, I will link it down down below um, but anywho I thought this chores one was a perfect one for the kids especially during the school year I tried to implement getting more strict on them getting their chores done throughout the day so I thought this would be a fun one to read and hopefully get them to want to do their chores maybe not but nonetheless it will be a really fun book to read about and then I also picked up this book, Arthur's Teacher Moves In. I think that is just hilarious and fun and I love Arthur and the Bernstein Bear books because you can find free episodes on YouTube here and I love to read the book and then pair the episode that goes with it to watch after. So that's going to be fun. So I picked those two up from Thrift Books. And then I have one book here that Barodi picked up from a free little library when we went to Six Flags recently. And of course he had to pick out the biggest book that they had there. But this is going to serve as such a great book for our homeschool. And this is The Great Shape Hunt by Richard Haynes. And look how huge this book is. This book is so huge, but so much fun. And I thought this is just going to be great for our preschool homeschool for him. So I love that. Love it, love it, love it. So we've got this book here. 
two other books here I actually picked up from our local grocery store. Um, we go to Winco and at our grocery store they usually have like a bargain box of books that are like under five dollars each and so when I seen these I thought these that these would be super great for my nine-year-old for our homeschool. So this is Earth's Incredible Places, the Amazon River um, by Sangma Francis and Rom Romelo de Hippolito. Um, and so this is all about the Amazon River and I really loved how much they go into detail inside. I loved the like water color pictures that they have going on here. Um, and yeah, I thought that this was going to be fun and a really great read for him. This was $3.98. Really great still in my opinion. And then I also got Earth's Incredible Places, The Great Barrier Reef. My son loves learning about animals and anything in the ocean as well. So I thought this would be fun and educational for him to read about. So I picked those two up. And then the last stack of books are actually books that I got here from a neighbor that was giving them away for free. And you know, I had to get my hands on them. So I'll just quickly go through all of these books that she gave to me. And a lot of these books were educational. Um, and so one of the first books that came in this little haul was Stuart Little by E.B. White. Such a classic. Um, my boys have not watched the movie. So I thought that this would be a fun read aloud to do this year with my boys. And then we can watch the movie. I thought that would be so much fun. So we've got this book. We've got Zombie Caterpillars by Christine Keel. Um, and I guess this just goes over caterpillars or zombie caterpillars to be more direct. Um, and my oldest son actually, actually I forgot, he picked this up from that free little library as well. This was the book that he picked up. Um, so this did come from a free little library. Um, but anyways, it's educational and my nine-year-old loves stuff like this. So I thought that would be great for our homeschool. And then now the rest is from um, a neighbor here. So this book is all about tractors. My boys, especially my four-year-old, loves to learn about different types of tractors and what they do. So I thought that he would love that. It would be a great um, book to read about. We have a book about Indian festivals. Um, my nine-year-old has been learning about Indian culture, and so I thought this would be a really great read just to learn more about Indian culture and more specifically their festivals. So we have that one. We have Selling to America, Colonists at Sea. He's also been learning about this, and I know the older that he gets and moves up in grades, he will be learning more and more about it. So we have this book. This is Adventures in Colonial America, The Winter at Valley Forge. I really love just like how educational these books are. And on the back, it gives you a list of more books um, by this author as well. This one is called Raptors. Sorry that I'm not telling who these books are by. Um, if you're not following me on my book channel, definitely head over there and check it out. I do all kinds of book hauls and book reviews. I open book subscription boxes. I also do children's books hauls over there. So you'll be seeing these same exact books on a book haul that I will be doing over on my book channel. So if you'd like a more in-depth tour on these books, who the author is, who the illustrator is, and just a little more in-depth tour inside of the books, definitely check out my book channel. Um, but this one is all about dinosaurs. My African icons, great people and black history. This is always great for my kids to learn about. I want to see if this author actually has other books. Um, that would be neat. So I really, really like this for them. If you sailed on the Mayflower in 1620, this is going to be fun. Such a cute little read. I feel like this would be great to read for Thanksgiving um, in like the November season. And I see on the back that there's more books. So that's interesting, I'll have to check that out. But it's also super colorful and I think the kids are gonna like this and it's educational. They're gonna get to learn about the Mayflower and yeah, I think it's gonna be a really great read. We have Buildings for a Purpose. This one just goes over different types of buildings around the world. So that's gonna be fun for the kids to learn about. We have Journey Through History, the Renaissance super fun i'm excited for this one this is going to be a fun one on the back it also shows other books that they have which is always interesting for me and since we reside here in california i thought this was a great book all about california and that way the kids can learn more about the state that they live in they also have books for each state so if you are looking to pick up a book for your state they have them all 
This is Journeys in Time, a new atlas of American history. So I thought that would be fun just to kind of go back in time and see how things have changed and evolved from back in the day to now. Fun, fun, fun. We also have Colonial Times, the 1600 to 1700s. Um, fun, like I said, Benjamin has been learning about this kind of stuff, and I think this is so cool. Seeing what type of um, garments they used to wear back in the day, what they used to eat, um, what they even did for medicine back in the day. So, very interesting. This one is all about the brain. My kids seen this and were absolutely disgusted, but I think it is great for them to learn about the brain and learn how it works. I think it's one of those things that all of us kind of need to have a basic understanding of the brain. This one is fun. Why are the ice caps melting? The dangers of global warming. So I thought that this would be really fun to implement with the kids. I really love these books. We have quite a few. I think we have one like why the weather changes, why the seasons change. Um, and yeah, here's some other books. This is actually the one that we have. Um, Sunshine Makes the Seasons. Um, so really fun educational book there for the kids. We have The Sun is Kind of a Big Deal. So the kids can learn more about the sun and the planets around the sun. So I thought that would be fun. This one is actually a coloring book. It's Animals of the Forest, Wetlands, and Desert. Um, and so they get to learn about animals because at the bottom it gives a little like information about the page and then they also get to color them. And I thought this would also be super fun to color in with their watercolors. We've got Aesop Fables always have to have some Aesop fables. So I thought this would be fun to read a few Aesop fables a day maybe would be really, really fun. Me and Benjamin can do like a read aloud with it. We've got some Greek mythology here. Um, Benjamin is gonna start getting more into Greek mythology. So this is gonna be a really fun book to learn about that. We've got Meet the Dinosaurs. I've got another book on dinosaurs. Boys love dinosaurs, so you can never have enough dinosaur books. And the last book is Aliens Are Coming, um, the true account of the 1938 War of the World's Radio Broadcast. So not only are you going to learn about the world's first radio broadcast, you're also going to get a super fun themed book for kids to follow along in. So love that, love that, love that. Oh my goodness, you guys, that was a lot of books. That is everything that I picked up for my kids for this school year. Of course, I'll probably be buying other things throughout the school year, but for the most part, this is everything that I got them to start them off for the school year and to continue on throughout their school year. So I really hope that this video gave you guys some inspiration on your own homeschool needs, or even if you are doing some sort of like little preschool with your children, even if your kids are going to public school and you're just looking for some things to implement in your own home on the weekends or during the summer even, I think these are all really great ideas. I will not be linking everything down below because that this is a lot to link up down below, but I will leave my thrift books link. Like I said, you get a, a free $5 book. Um, what else did I say I would link? I will also link last year's homeschool haul that I did as well to get some more inspiration and ideas for your own homeschool needs or just things that you would like to implement in your own back to school needs with your kids. And yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. A small town, run down, so let's run away from here From the coast to the coast, where everything is clear Follow me, from the past into the future